Hey everyone guys, today we're going to be diving into the best settings guys for the Samsung Odyssey G4 in 2024. So if you want to optimize for gaming, productivity, or you know general use, I'll show you the settings that can give you the best display quality and response time guys. Let's get into it. So the first things first guys, what you want to do is go to your computer's display settings and ensure that the resolution is set to 1920 by 1080p which is full HD for the sharpest image, okay? Next, you want to go to the advanced display settings and select the refresh rate, okay? Set it to 240 hertz for the smoothest experience, especially if you're gaming. Then what you want to guys, what you want to do guys is, you know, just adjust the picture mode. So what you want to do is press the menu button on the Odyssey G4 and then navigate to picture mode and select custom, okay? This lets you tweak individual settings for a tailored experience. For gaming, the FPS or RTS mode can work well for specific genres, but custom offers flexibility, guys. Then what you want to do, guys, is fine-tune brightness and contrast. So in the custom mode, adjust the brightness to around 75 to 80 for a bright yet comfortable view. And then, guys, what you want to do is set the contrast between 70 to 75 for good depth without, you know, oversaturating colors. So this combo is actually great for balancing visibility and eye comfort, especially in a different lighting environments. Okay, guys? Next, guys, what you want to do is go to game mode in the settings menu and enable it. This will actually reduce input lag, giving you a faster response time, which is actually ideal for gaming, guys. Next, you want to actually toggle on low input lag to, you know, basically enhance uh, further enhance responsiveness, okay? These settings make a significant difference, guys, in competitive gaming situations, right? So, next, guys, what you want to do is adjust the black equalizer. So, for improved visibility in darker scenes, you want to just adjust the black equalizer setting. Set it to around 10 to 12 for, you know, better visibility in darker scenes. So, you're just basically brightening the shadowy areas without losing contrast. So, this is very, very useful for games with dark environments where you need to spot opponents quickly. Next, guys, what we want to do is look at the color and sharpness settings. So for the color tone, okay, the color tone, you just want to set it to normal for the most accurate color representation. And then just keep the RGB at default settings, the red, green, blue. Uh, unless, guys, you need color accuracy for content creation, if so, what you can do is you can use a calibration tool for the precise adjustments. And for sharpness, you want to, guys, you want to actually set it to around 60 to 70 for, you know, a clear, crisp display without adding too much edge enhancement, guys. And then, guys, if you have a compatible GPU, you just want to enable adaptive sync to reduce the screen tearing and improve the visual smoothness. So this setting works especially well with fast moving scenes and gaming, guys. So that's it, guys. With these settings, you'll get the best performance and visuals out of your Samsung Odyssey G4. And now you can enjoy the optimized display, whether you're using it for gaming or using it for work, guys. So guys, if this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more tech tips, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, guys, to Solutions Fact. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next